Hey guys, Cindy Williams of Wanderlust CEO here. I have such a fun uh, session, class, what do we do here, live streams? Show today for you, talking about one of my favorite topics, which is planning an organization. So uh, first of all, for those of you who are new to us, I want to remind you to like, subscribe, and ring the notifications bell, especially if you're someone who is launching or growing a travel business because we do content every single week to help you. But today is a topic that's really about everybody, especially if you've been interested or thinking about how to best plan, how to bless, best organize. And um, I, there's a couple different systems that I use in terms of automating my life. And I get this question so often because I run two pretty big companies. I run my own uh, travel agency called Tripsy Travel, which is an amazing travel business, but I also own Careers on Vacation, which is one of the leading companies to help people grow and supersized travel businesses and I'm the CEO of both. So I have a lot going on all the time and when I train the people who go through like our mastermind programs or our different um, programs that we have they always ask Cindy I'm so busy just running my travel agency plus you have careers on vacation how do you manage your life not to mention I'm a mom I'm a wife I have uh, three kids I have um, my two babies and then my nephew and uh, they are my pride and joy for what we do every day and I travel all the time like all the time now this year has been great because we've had a little bit of downtime so I've been able to organize and do more project work which has been really cool and I'm going to show you how I do some of my project work today but I get that question all the time like how do you organize everything going on in your life how do you possibly manage all of this stuff so I approach my life scheduling just like I do organizing my businesses where can I systematize where can I uh, automate where can I create repeatable systems where I can do things everything down to like meal prep as a mom or automated scheduling in my travel agency or online courses for our careers on vacation program right so how do I manage all of those pieces from a planner perspective or planning perspective? So I'm gonna share with you my best tips today and we're also going to be PRing the Erin Condren planning system. Have you guys heard about this? There's things I love about it and there's things I don't like about it and I'm gonna share both with you. And full disclosure, I was just invited to be an affiliate for Erin Condren, so I'm gonna share uh, that up front so you guys know, but also I never share anything with you that I don't already use, love, or it's been tested in a proven system. That rule goes for anything that I share with my clients or share with you, my amazing community online. So I'm going to tell you what I use and what I love about the system. And I'm also going to share with you something that didn't work for me uh, with their system, but how I've kind of curtailed it in a place where it works systematically. So let's get started. <laughs> foremost um I want to start by saying like I grew up in the 80s I started my professional career in the 90s and I was a big follower of like Stephen Covey and organization and I used to love having the planners and then it graduated to palm pilots oh my god who remembers palm pilots tell me below what your first organization system was I would love to know so literally we used to have these planners and you would buy like these big packets and you would write everything out and then it graduated to Palm Pilots and now of course today we use phones. I still use my phone in coordination with this more written planning system. So I wanna say that and be fully transparent. My day-to-day -day schedule, like my client calls, my classes that I'm teaching, my um, program, my filming for my TV show, um, those things get programmed in my phone so I know every day what's happening. Most of that is automated um, appointments and then I do have my amazing operations manager who oversees my schedule and makes sure everything's flowing properly for kind of like that day-to-day -day stuff. But when it comes to project work and things that I'm really working on goals wise that's where I feel like this Erin Condren system works really well for entrepreneurs and for people who um, have a lot going on right so anytime I have a gap in my schedule or someone misses a meeting or I have uh, extra project time 
I build project time in, by the way, to my schedule. This is something I've done for over five years now. And you might think that's crazy. How can you build in project time? Because what, what most people do is they just wake up and they go, 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 meeting after meeting. Every single Monday, I don't take calls. That's my project time. That is my protected project time where I sit and work on the big picture projects for my companies. And that, you know, because I'm steering the ship as the CEO of two companies. I need to make sure they're in the right path and that we're allocating and doing really that big thinking. So I protect an entire day on my schedule. And then I also block in little groups of time through the week where I can work on projects that we have ongoing. But as far as like when I do goal planning, Goal planning could be a whole nother video, but when you're deciding what big things you wanna do in your business on a regular basis, I break that down into annual goals and then I break it down into quarterly goals and then I break it down into what do I need to accomplish this month. So one of the things that's great um, about this system and the system that I use, so Erin Condren has different um, planners. Uh, most people actually like her spiral planners. I'll pop in like a photo so you guys can see that. I used the spiral planners for a couple years and I loved it. It's kind of how I got attached to the system. But when they came out with this binder one, this is kind of not, this is actually not one of the more popular ones on their site. Uh, but I love it because I'm not a fan of like extra stuff. So every time a month passes, I can take the section out and then it becomes a little bit lighter or I can put the next section in. So I can always keep this in kind of a compact schedule. Now it's about the same size cause it's a pretty decent thickness. But the other thing I really like about this one is you can literally like lay it flat <laughs> when you're writing, right? And so when I'm doing my organizing, I love to lay it flat. The other thing I like to do that you can't do in the spiral planner is you can open it up and you can take a page out that's one of my calendar pages but when I'm doing like my um, writing out my things I want to accomplish from uh, every month and then I break it down to every week like here's an example of what I'm doing this week right so I can take it out and put it on a flat surface and I can I just like to do that a little do you guys do that too does that seem weird but on the spiral planner I always felt like I was it was a little bit curved or a little bit bumpy and I couldn't get it like I couldn't get my penmanship perfect <laughs> Is that a little OCD? Maybe it is, but for me, I freaking love this binder setup. I love it so much. This stays on my desk all the time, and every single Thursday afternoon, I sit down and look at everything that I've accomplished for the week, and then I plan for the next week. So I'm gonna actually walk you through how I do this planning. So first and foremost, let's start from a monthly perspective. So in the planning system, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it has little tabs, right? So you have tabs for each month, which is great. Normally, I'm doing this three months at a time because my, uh, normally I do my travel schedule a year in a, in a time, ahead of time because I do a lot of speaking events and conferences and things like that. But this year's been crazy wackadoo, right? Because of all the craziness going on. Um, so I've been going month to month really this year because it really depends on what's available to travel, where we're going has been more last minute than scheduled. Um, but at any rate, a normal month for me is I will sit down and plan the next one to three months out if I know if you know we're not in a COVID year. If it's not 2020, I'm doing three months at a time. But right now, um, I'm doing a month at a time. So for example, I have August here. So I do my monthly planning first and I kind of put, the first thing I do and what I recommend you guys do is put your protected time first. What's your time with your kids and with your family? Like every Friday is a free day for me. This is another thing, <laughs> now you're going, what? You take, you, you do project work Mondays and then you don't work on Fridays? It's not that I necessarily don't work on Fridays, but I consider it a free day. I can do my mom stuff, I can do my meal prep, I can do my grocery shopping. So I protect that time on my calendar so I go through and put free days if there's any birthdays happening any big school things happening kind of those momentous things those will go on the calendar if I have any travel happening it's gonna go here what I love about this is they have these fun little stickers and stuff so I can really visually kind of map out what my month is gonna look like this is actually a really low-key month for me we have school starting so we don't do a lot of travel in the month of August anyway Plus, of course, we all know COVID's going on right now, so we're home a little bit more than normal. Normally, there is some type of one or two 
trips in the course of the month if this were like a regular schedule for me. But I go through and then I plan out my free days and then I plan out the momentous things. I have my project days in here that I mentioned for Monday. Um, and then I have some um, time for self care, like just to give myself reminders. <laughs> So I think all I've done so far is told you the, how, where I don't work, but I promise we're going to get to the work stuff here shortly. So, but to visually to get an idea of what your month is looking like, this allows me to go, wow, this is a five week month or I have extra time here. I have a few extra days or a few extra hours if I map this out properly. Then I break it down into what am I doing? What are my goals for this month? So I love that they have these little, um, here's a clean one. I, I just got this Wonder Woman one. How cute is this so um they have these are like little inserts they just you can pop them right in to your binder so i use it kind of like a bookmark in here but what i do is i write out my monthly goals again so i can remember and keep them top of mind when i have that extra hour i can go what am i supposed to be working on so for this this month for example I'm working on updating website copy across our websites that we have. I'm working on um, Wanderlust CEO, which is a new program we're working on, working on some of our concepts for our TV shows, and um, working on getting some new support systems in place for our school. We're also doing some hiring for our agency and um, curating some new content for another project we have working on. And I have a book, we're writing a book right now. So. Lots of big high level projects that are happening, but it just reminds me like, what's the chunk of pieces that I can do? So I keep that kind of as a reminder. And then when I'm creating my weekly plan, I'm able to go through and I do look at my phone, right? So I know what my, I know my busiest meeting days and training days and consulting days for my clients are happen Tuesday through Wednesday. So a lot of times I'll just have clients and meetings or clients and mastermind call, um, or, you know, curriculum creation or editing from my team. I'll have the stuff that I know I have to do Tuesday through Wednesday, but then on Mondays and Fridays, when I know I have that extra time I can allocate towards projects, then I am taking things off of my monthly list and I list out the more specific things, like look at this particular pages of the website, do these particular things for that project. So I'm streamlining and breaking it down from a big goal to a task oriented goal. So like, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. And as an entrepreneur, like I always tell my clients, look, it's never all done. It's never going to be all done. You signed up to be a business owner, it's never gonna be all done. So just get that stress off your shoulders and don't put that pressure on yourself. But if you are doing a little piece at a time, I promise you it's all gonna come together. So I organize this from week to week. This works really well for me and then I always have, this week I have a ton of miscellaneous stuff. Like if I get extra time, work on this. I have so much going on right now. But this is a beautiful way because what I do is I keep all of these week by week tasks that I do and then what I do at the end of the month is I take out uh, in accordance to what my goals were and they have this really cool section like after you do your monthly planning that calendar that I showed you they have this section in here where it has your monthly goals any birthdays I also put like my targets in here so um, I'll put whatever my goals are what my targets are for the month and then what I do is I come back to this when I'm doing my September planning I'll come back and go okay did we hit this goal did we attain this this um, this achievement that we were going after after, what does this look like in my wrap up? And then I make a list of everything we got accomplished as a company and everything that happened. What that allows me to do mentally because you can lose track of like how much you're doing, whether it's mom stuff or company stuff or health stuff or whatever the goals are that you're working on especially as women, I feel like we don't give ourselves credit. So how I start every single month is I, I literally task out everything I got accomplished the month before. And every single time I'm like, holy crap, we got so much done. Even when I go in starting going, what did we really do this month? What did we, where do we move the bar? And then I go back and say, look, we helped this many clients, this many graduated from our programs, this many trips got booked. Uh, I got all the kids are, are alive and thriving and got dinner pretty much every day. We made it to karate class. Give yourself credit for all those cool things happening in your life. And it, then you start the new month feeling really empowered. So that's just like a mindset trick. So that one's a freebie because you know I have 8 million mindset videos. Um, but what I really like to do is have that 
uh, going into the next month so you can kind of start that in a good place. The other thing I will say for those of you who are CEOs, you have big companies, you have big teams, my team's getting ridiculous, right? I have a team of travel agents, I have a team of amazing uh, travel industry professionals that work for our careers on vacation company and everybody has different tasks they have go going on. We have a curriculum team, we have educators, we have experts who are working working on our marketing for the companies and supporting our clients marketing. We have um, uh, marketing specialists. We have people that handle all of my speaking events, handle all of our retreats that we do. So I list out not just my goals, but I, as a reminder for myself, because if you're leading the ship, you have to have that whole trust but verify. Like as you dole out uh, projects and different things that people are working on, I don't want to forget like so-and-so is working on this and sometimes I do because we have so many moving parts. Now first of all I have an amazing operations manager so she remembers a lot of this for me but on the big level projects I will actually go person to person and go so-and-so is working on this, so-and-so is working on that and I review that every week because if it makes sense to cross utilize, if it makes sense to have synergy across departments, if it makes sense that this, de this department or this person knows that this person's working on this, that can be a multiplier for your success if you have teams that are working on a lot of different things. So I know I'm going like really high level right now, but these are just things that I've learned. Um, when I was in corporate, I managed uh, teams of up to 150 different people and uh, I, it was a lot, right? So I, I learned though how to really maximize workforce and how to help people work best and make sure that I'm doing my job as a CEO be, to make their jobs easier and because it's my job to keep hold the vision for the company and give people the tools and support, resources, love, care, mentoring, everything that they need to do the best job they can do in their areas and work together as a team too. So that's how I organize managing my team. So all this to say, I love this planning system. I use the spiral binder, binder. A lot of people love that one, so really you can kind of dig in and go through the website and see which ones that work best for you. I'm gonna put my link, my affiliate link below, so full disclosure, it is an affiliate link, um, but again, I would not tell you about anything I don't love or don't use myself. Um, check it out and see what you think would work for you. I love the deluxe, it's called the Deluxe Monthly Planner. They have different like covers that you can use that are super cute. I like it because not only can I have this size also fits really good in my purse when I travel and I can take out the extra months. So if I'm working on, like if I'm going on a vacation, I know I'm gonna spend a couple days at the beach or I can hang out at the pool. I love what I do. Like I never turn it off because I love it. Like I don't, they always say like if you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. It's fun for me to get out like my little planning markers and my stuff and my stickers and uh, do this. But I love that it fits in my purse or my beach bag. So I like the binder system because I can make it lighter. Um, I love these little bookmarks. I didn't really talk about the pens that much. I'm pretty sure I own every color because I'm a super big fan of like making stuff fun and uh, attractive. One more thing I want to share with you for like accessories. And this, this is actually this little, um, I don't know what you call this, like a case, it's a zipper case. I actually purchased this to hold my first um, spiral binder that I used to use for the first few years when I used the Erin Condren system, but now I use it for all my stickers, you guys. So um, what I, I mean, you don't have to go crazy on the stickers and you could use any kind of stickers to be honest, but I think that the Condren brand's done a good job of having like those self-care stickers. They have ones that are, you know, po they have positive things that they're saying. I love their travel series, duh. Of course I love that one. In fact, I, I bought a bunch of them because I was afraid like they were gonna go, here it is. I was afraid <laughs> that they were gonna be gone at some point. They have little airplanes and all this cool stuff. So when I'm traveling, I always have like the airplanes and here's the day we're leaving and here, they even have like a little pack your bags one. So I'm like, this is the day I'm gonna pack. So normally when I'm traveling, I'm all about these travel stickers for having them on that monthly section to give myself reminders of what I'm supposed to be working on. I love these ones for the self-care. They have little llamas and little crystals. And they have all kinds of fun ones. They have this new Wonder Woman line, which is super cute. Oh wow, that looks trippy with my, this, my face behind the stickers. But um, here's a better one. 
So they have, all, I'm a huge Wonder Woman fan. So they have all this fun stuff. They have letters, they have all kinds of cool stuff. The last thing I wanna tell you about besides the stickers and markers is the fact that on the spiral binders, um, you can customize your cover. So if you, instead of going, now we're lucky, we're here in Austin, so we actually have an Erin Condren store, which is probably why I have so much like stuff, because we go there all the time and I can't resist. But um, most people are ordering your uh, spiral binders online. So you can order these covers and you can actually get them personalized. So I have some personalized, I have my phone number on it in case I lose it. So uh, that's kind of cool. So this is one that just says Cindy Williams. And then I what, I, what else I like is that they have this laminate and you can get dry erase and they have these sections where you can put your goals in there. So when I was using the spiral ones, I was always using the dry erase kind of markers or wet erase. Yeah, wet erase I think would it works better. Um, they sell those at the store too, but what was the one I wanted to show you? Oh, I don't think I have it in here. The other thing you can do, and I, I did this, I think it's just not in this kit, I have it somewhere else. They have dividers that you can get and you can literally make them say anything. So I have one that just says like magic AF. <laughs> I have one that says Wanderlust CEO. I have one that says, you know, like living laptop lifestyle or living the dream. I don't know, I have some, oh wait, here's some in here. I know I have some of these. I'll have to dig them out and find them for you guys. But um, I have some like motivational ones that say like Cindy's projects. So again, unfortunately I don't use these too much anymore because I don't use the spiral binder system. I used them a ton when I did, but if you like the spiral binder and that size works fine for you, that's something really cool that you can do to customize it, which I think is fun. So I one more thing too guys, like I love to be inspired when I'm planning out my schedule. So this is probably like my favorite spot, right? Who wouldn't be inspired by this view, but Another tip is just like take a few minutes at the end of your week to recalibrate to like collect and Recognize all of the great work you've done this week and then start planning for your next week So I love to just sit down take a beat It's the last thing I do on Thursday night before I close my office down and go into the weekend um, So think about having that special spot special place sometimes I do it here sometimes I do it We have a little like meditation circle uh, out in in our yard outside so it's really hot in Austin right now but uh, that's another place if the weather's cool enough that I'll do that which reminds me there's one more thing from the Erin Condren line uh, that I use every single day that is the petite planners recently I'm totally into these Wonder Woman ones and that I use every single morning to do my gratitude practice I have another video on uh, that on YouTube but sitting down and just connecting in the morning and kind of starting your morning in a good place that is another tip uh, to keep you motivated and on track and laser focused for the stuff that you're doing every day so I hope you guys like this video today I'm such a nerd for like organization um, and planning in general but really this helps me get really clear every single month on what am I supposed to be working on it keeps my big level goals top of mind and um, if you've been looking for that extra thing to help you I think plan project work and um, this I think could be a great system for you and if you hey if you have another system out there that you love tell me below in comments I would love to learn that too I'm always a student of the world I'm always looking to learn and find out cool things to share with you guys um, today was about planning I hope that helps you guys I know everybody's getting into school uh, as we're filming this video not just school but so many kids are schooling from home and so a lot of you are balancing like kids schedules which I don't know about you but you have 8,000 freaking emails and phone calls and everything <laughs> From your kids teachers and it's a lot right so um i hope this is helpful for you as always i wish you guys so much love so much abundance wherever you are in the world and if you are someone who's launching or growing a travel business make sure you grab all of our free resources you can find those in the comments below particularly our free master class that teaches you how to launch grow and supersize your own travel business you can go to careersonvacation.com forward slash master class find out if getting into the travel industry is even for you that's why it's a free class it's just to educate and help um, you understand but you guys go grab your planners enjoy I'm gonna put the link uh, my affiliate link below 
Check out what Erin uh, Condren has on the site and see if it's a fit for you and keep me posted. Let me know after you've used it for a month or two if you're really liking it or if you have any more feedback for me. Love you guys. See you next time. here if you like that last video make sure you check out my other content to help you grow and scale your very own travel business and also I invite you to travel around the world with me and find out what I'm doing in my portable profitable award-winning travel business check out the videos